Hey, have you been sitting in your chair all day and are tired from sitting in the chair? I bet it would just feel good to move with your body. So meet me at the mat and we'll go through a few moves that will get you feeling better. We're just gonna do some brief poses. I won't keep you here too long. But first we'll start in child's pose. So this position, you want your knees wide, your toes touching, and you sit back onto your heels or as close as you can get. You want your arms outstretched in front of you, and your forehead can rest onto the mat. If you find that your hips are super tight for this, or it's really uncomfortable in your knees, then you can actually put maybe a, a pillow or a blanket or something back behind your knees to give you a little more space. And then if you're up here, that's totally fine. We're just looking for a nice little stretch in the body. Paying attention to our breath. Good. From here on an inhale, come back up through tabletop. So stack your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your elbows and over your wrists. You want a neutral spine from here. Tuck your toes, dip your belly, look up. For cow, exhale, bring your belly in towards your spine, untuck your toes, and round for cat. Inhale, back up for cow, tuck your toes, dip your belly, look up. Exhale, back for cat, rounding your spine. Good, inhale, back up for cow, and exhale for cat. Good, from a neutral tabletop, go ahead and tuck your toes, lift your knees off the ground, and push your hips towards the ceiling for a downward dog. Good, walking through your dog, pedaling your feet out. And then inhale, look between your hands, and exhale, gently travel to the top of your mat. Good, from here, go ahead and actually widen your stance so it's a little wider than hip width. You can drop your hands down the ground. Maybe you need to bend your knees a little bit. Whatever releases your back. And release your head down to the ground. Shaking it yes and no. Good. Maybe you want to interlace your hands on the inside of your elbows. If your hands are interlaced, go ahead and release them to the floor. To your heel toe, your toes to touch. And gently roll yourself up to standing. Good. From here, bring your hands down by your sides. Roll your shoulders down your back. And on inhale, bring your arms overhead. Palms press. And interlace your fingers so it looks like you've got a little bit of a, a gun pointing. Good. Shoulders are relaxed, down away from your ears, and side bend over to the right. Good, back through center, and side bend over to the left. Good, back through center, go ahead and release your hands down by your sides. Wash your shoulders down your back. On an inhale, bring your arms out and up, palms press. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, and come into a down dog. Good, and then inhale, bring your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, plant it between your hands, coming up into a warrior one position, so your back foot is at a 45 degree ankle. Your knee is stacked over your ankle. You have a good solid foundation through your feet, and then you inhale your arms overhead, keeping the shoulders down away from your ears. Good. Maybe you look up, tuck the arms, look up again, and release the hands down to frame your front foot and step back into the downward dog. From here, Inhale your left leg towards the ceiling. Exhale, plant it between your hands and pivot that back foot down. 
at a 45 degree angle. Make sure your foundation through your feet are solid and your knee is stacked at your ankle. On an inhale, bring your arms overhead. Oh, warrior one. Good, you should feel a nice opening in that right hip flexor. Kind of tapping into the psoas a little bit. Maybe you looked up toward the ceiling and cactus your arms out. Getting a nice chest opener. Good, inhale your arms. Palms facing one another, looking forward. And then exhale, cartwheel your hands down from your front foot and step back into downward dog. Good, on an inhale, look between your hands. And exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, hands on shins. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse swarm dive up, palms press. Exhale, hands down by your sides. From here, go ahead and walk your hands over your feet wide. I'm going to have your toes slightly bent in. Arms down by your sides. And then clasp your hands back behind your back. Maybe your fingers clasp one another. If you find that your shoulders are really tight, you could grab a sock or a sweatshirt or something to give you a little more space back behind you. And on an inhale, let's look towards the ceiling. And exhale, bend forward, arms overhead. Good, letting the blood rush to your head. Letting your shoulders relax. Awesome, release your hands down to your back. Release your hands all the way down to the ground. And then inhale, half lift up. Exhale your hands to your hips. And inhale, stand all the way back up. Pausing for a moment, letting that any rush of blood pass. Good. Step your feet back together. Bring your hands down by your sides. On an inhale, arms overhead, palms press. On an exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Good, inhale, half lift, hands on shins. Exhale, hands plant, step back to a down dog. We're keeping this super short and sweet, so inhale your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your knee, right knee towards your right elbow. I'm sorry, your right wrist. And go ahead and make sure that that left leg back behind you is nice and straight. This is called pigeon pose. If you find, like I do, that you have a lot of space between your hip and the floor, you wanna grab something that can help support you so that you can actually relax in this pose. So I grab a pillow or a blanket or something that's wedged in. I'm also glancing back and making sure that that outstretched leg is straight and it's not bending from one side to the other. Good, and on an inhale, you wanna look forward, opening through the chest. And exhale, go ahead and walk your hands forward. And maybe land your hands head down upon crossed hands. This is called pigeon pose. Half pigeon. Super good for opening up the hips. Good, and on an inhale, we're gonna come back out of it. Go ahead and Walk your hands underneath your shoulders and look up. Tuck your toes on that left leg back behind you. And inhale, bring that right leg back behind you. And you might need to walk out from that pose a little bit if that was a little tight. And if you used a prop, chances are you're gonna need it on the other side, so go ahead and move that over to the left. On an inhale, raise your left leg towards the sky. Exhale, bring the left knee towards the left wrist and maybe you walk that right leg back. One side might be more tight than the other, or it might be more loose. Just notice. Good, and I'm glancing back, making sure that right leg is straight back behind me. Looking forward again, broadening across my chest, and then exhale as I slowly walk my hands forward and rest my forehead onto my hands.
Good, and then inhale, go ahead and walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Untuck your toes on your right foot and press back up into Downward Dog. Walking through your dog again and probably moving your props off to the side. Good. From here, go ahead and drop your knees down to the ground. Put your hips down towards your heels and sliding off to the one side. Go ahead and bring your feet forward. Good. From here, we're gonna go ahead and come onto our backs, extending our legs long. Good, bring your knees in towards your chest, hugging them and maybe rocking from side to side. Great, release your left leg long, keeping your right knee towards your right armpit. Extend your right arm out as a T. And then on an exhale, go ahead and bring your right knee across your body so you get a nice spinal twist. And if your neck can do it, you can go ahead and look over your right shoulder. We're getting a full body twist. Good, bring that knee back in towards your chest. Hug your left knee in towards your chest. And then release your right leg long, hugging your right knee towards your, I'm sorry, your left knee towards your left armpit. Bringing your left arm long or in, into a cactus arm. And then bring that right knee or left knee across your body to the right. And if your neck likes it, you can go ahead and look over your left shoulder. Good, bringing your knees back through center. Go ahead and hug your knees in towards your chest. Maybe rocking one last time from side to side. Good, and release your legs long into a brief mini Shavasana. So my palms are facing towards the ceiling. My eyes are closed. My feet are relaxed. My eyebrows are relaxed. Relaxing the tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Good, and on an inhale, bring your arms overhead for a nice stretch, stretching long like a pencil. Bend your knees so they're up towards the ceiling and using your right arm as support for your head, go ahead and rock over to your right side. It's a little breezy here. You can hear my chimes in the background. <laughs> Good, and using your hands to support you. Go ahead and push yourself up to the seated posture. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Short, sweet, to the point, and hopefully no more office pain. Have a great day, y'all.